the uh, Honourable Joe Ludwig to officially open the uh, Northern Territory Cattlemen's Association 29th Conference. You're braver than Ned Kelly to come up here, I think. <laughs> Even though what your government said and did on June the 8th, 2011, it'll go down in history as one of our darkest days. Thanks very much for those uh, kind words, Chris. It's a pleasure to be uh, with you today in Alice Springs. Uh, When's it going to rain? Where's it going to rain? How much is it going to rain? Is it going to get hot? And when's it going to rain again? I've got to say, I think the NTCA is probably the most effective peak organisation in Australia. The assistance we're getting from government is diminishing all the time. The uh, government does work closely with the Northern Territory Cattle Association. Why? Uh, because it's a great organisation that represents your interests. I think the mid-term, long-term future looks good. You know, we've just got to get through the bottom of this situation we're in and we've got to start to turn it around. The ban was, was bad enough, but... It, now we've got all the repercussions like land values and, and, uh, and, and also with the Indonesians, I mean there was a slap in the face and they're, uh, they're not particularly keen on us at the moment. And I'm very glad to be here in this uh, conference. It's a wonderful situation. Just be in the middle of the, all the cattlemen's in Northern Territory. Is it developed countries? Is it emerging countries? What sort of balance should you get? I'm very proud to be a member of the Northern Territory Cattlemen's Association. The NTC is an extremely successful lobby body. Um, we're one of the few in, in Australia that's um, actually got funds available to do something. So our, our, our membership's strong and has done a tremendous job in, in um, displaying the interest of NT Cattlemen and it's a, it's a great association to be a part of. We ought to be very proud of our achievements today and in the past. We all get together and we all understand the problems that each and every one is facing. They're the most important issues. We speak to, we listen to some inspiring speakers. And also, it's just a wonderful get together of people, catching up with people you perhaps only see once a year. The outlook's good, long term, you know, we've got some fundamentals in the world market, demand for beef's fantastic, but we've got to bridge that gap between where we are now and where that potential is in the future. government at war with itself, uh, then the last thing they're considering is, is the cattlemen. 
Uh, and what these, uh, these functions do is allow a forum for our cattlemen to get together to talk about the, uh, the really major issues that are affecting them uh, and finding some solutions going forward. Well, I think the Northern Territory Cattlemen Conferences are always really important. It's, uh, it's like bringing a family together. I'm here to stand by the industry because for the past seven years I work with the industry, I work with the people in the industry, I know the industry, I know the people, and sometimes I had to go against my own party to stand by the territory industry. We've got a few programs put together where we can train and get some fellas from local communities skilled to be able to go out to work. This is, this is pain <laughs> Definitely a shock to me. I had no idea that it was on. In fact, uh, it was only by accident that I'm here. So uh... yeah, well, I'm about the same because <laughs> I, I didn't know either. One hour worth thirty thousand. No, three thousand dollars. One thousand this way. One at one at one. Hope it one thousand. We're out, sir. Hope it one thousand dollars down the back. I don't want to lose.